Hey guys, Mike here, the Detroit Borg, with a look at the Almond from Securify, the world's first touchscreen base, wireless end router, and range extender. Touchscreen because this can be configured via the touchscreen directly on the device. You don't need to install software on the Mac or PC. You don't need to go to that web address on the device itself in order to configure it manually. So basically all you have to do is take this out of the box, connect it to your ISP, press a few buttons, walk through the steps, and you're good to go and you have a wireless access point. So this is meant to be very user friendly for the novice user. You don't need a degree in network administration in order to set this device up. So on the side we have our WAN port for connecting our ISP. We have two LAN ports for connecting physical devices, so if you don't want to use the wireless access feature, you can connect directly to the device and you have your power port. Now this is great in particular for environments where you have tablets or phones and not necessarily PCs. If you can't set up the, the device using software on a PC, you at least have this option. So this is meant to be intuitive, so again you don't need to, uh, software um, on your Mac or PC, you don't need to go to that web address. This is secure, supporting all the standard array of network security protocols, including WEP, WPA, and WPA2. It's fast because it supports wireless and MIMO technology, and it's elegant because everything you need is directly at your fingertips in an attractive package. Now, this is available on Amazon for about $80, so it's pretty competitively priced, and has a range of about 100 meters. So let's go ahead and crack this open and take a look around. So the box slides out, and we have our almond wrapped in lots and lots of plastic. We'll set that aside for just a moment while I take, we take a look at the rest of the accessories. So here we have our power supply. So you can see you have the wall warts and the standard uh, power connector. We also have an ethernet cable, and you have your very simple setup instructions, which basically is a four-step process, including unplugging your existing router. So this is, again, very easy and user-friendly to use. So let's take a look at the device. Unpeel it here. As you can see it's very glossy plastic. Now with the plastic off, we can take a look at the very glossy almond with that very simple design. So you have that uh, curved pedestal design, so it basically rests on this pedestal. Up front, you have that 2.8 inch LCD screen with a resolution of 320 by 240. I believe it's resistive instead of capacitive, so you don't necessarily need to use a finger. In fact, they include a stylus down here which uh, you can take out and use on the touch screen if you please, or you can store it away. Now on the back you have your WAN port for connecting your ISP, as well as two LAN ports for connecting devices, and you have your reset button, as well as your power connector port. On the other side you have the Securify logo, on this side you have nothing, you have ventilation, passive ventilation on the top and bottom, uh, so you can see there isn't a whole lot in there, it's a pretty lightweight device. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and set this up for the first time, I'm just going to plug it in, Plug in the power source and let it boot up. Okay, so let's select our language English. Now the next thing we're faced with is this wizard, which will take us through the process of setting the device up for the first time. But the first thing I want to do is connect my ISP to that WAN port. Okay. Now let's go ahead and start the wizard. All right, so it's asking us to grab the stylus, but I don't need that. We're going to skip that process and go to next. Now, we have two options here. We can set this up as a router, a standard wireless router, or you can do the range extender. So let's go with the router for now. Go to next. All right, so it found my internet connection. So let's go to finish. So that's all there is to it, to setting up the wireless access point. In fact, if you go to your device here, you can see the almond network. Now I do need a password, so in order to get that all you have to do is go to security and you can see your password right there. You can also modify this password which is impossible to remember and type in your own password using this keyboard. Now this is where a stylus probably comes in handy. Alright, so we're all set, so we can now go to our device, connect to the Almond Detroit Borg. And we're connected. Now I also don't like the name of that network. So let's go back and let's go to wireless and let's change that. We're going to change it to just Almond. Now you also have guest network options here. So if you go to wireless you can enable a guest network. It will restart the device and you can name it anything you want. And as soon as you go to your device you'll see guest network here. You can log into it and you're good to go. So you don't need a password or anything like that. 
Now under internet, you have further options here for modifying your connection. So right now we're using DHCP on the cable modem. You can also do a DSL dial-up configuration, or you can go to a manual IP. So here you can specify exactly how you want to set up your network. So you have a lot of options here in order to configure your device without going to that web address or using software. Now if you tap help, you get some other information here for Windows or Mac users. If you tap Windows, you get a little tutorial here on what you need to do. Basically go to your network settings to connect to it. So pretty straight. Straightforward. Now if we go to more, we get to the second home screen indicated by these uh, notches up here which tell us where we are in the UI. So you can add a device here, you can use WPS or add a device manually. You can go back to that wizard, you can go to the screen here, and here you can timeout or you can set the timeout for the screen in seconds, or you can lock the screen and set up a pin. So if you don't want others to uh, modify this device, you can have that option. And we also have web administration on this device, and here you can set up your login and password information, and that's the default. So all you have to do is go to this address in your web browser on any device, mobile or desktop or laptop, and uh, from there you have a lot more control and you have a very nice user interface. So I'm logged in right now under that address and I had to log in using that admin, admin, uh, username and password and you can customize that. But here you have all the options you're familiar with, the basic settings that you can control directly on the device. So if you tap any of these, you can change your security settings. Now you also have advanced settings here, things that are not available on the device. So you can set up your firewall settings, your filtering, your DMZ, content, routing, port forwarding, Etc. Etc. So there's a lot here to look at. So you can take a look at uh, your full system log, which is pretty extensive. You can look at your firewall settings here. A lot of them involve toggling here. Now you also have port forwarding, which is very important to a lot of users, people who need to uh, forward ports for gaming, for example, among other things. So this is definitely meant for more advanced users. So you can establish your port range, your IP range. You can name the device. Uh, so you have a lot of administra administrative controls under the web administration. Now on the third home screen we have our connection diagram, so we can see how we're connected. You also have your system log, which will tell you a little more about the system. You also have your statistics. You have your support, so how to contact Securify for support. You have your firmware, so if you need to check for a firmware upgrade, that's how you do it. And you can go to more. So if you go to about, you have more information here on what uh, model you have, your MAC address, and software version. Now the next thing I want to talk about is range extender. So I'm going to disconnect my ISP and we're going to go into range extender setup. Now range extender basically bridges your existing wireless access point. So if you already have a router in your house or your place of business or wherever, you can use this to extend the range of it. So for example, in the marginal signal area, you can use this to boost overall performance. Now there are several ways I can set up range extender. I can go right to the range extender option here, or if I go to more and go to wizard, it will walk me through the process. So instead of setting up my uh, router, I can go ahead and set up my range extender. So here we have my existing wireless access point time capsule. I want to select that. I'm going to go to next. I'm going to enter in my password. All right, so my password is set. I'm going to click next. So it's saving my settings. It's going to find a time capsule. It's going to wait for an IP to assign, and it's going to tell me if it's connected. All right, so we're all set to go, and basically this is operating as a range extender. In fact, you'll notice that the security icon has changed here and is now unlocked. So basically, in order to change our security settings, we have to uh, disable the repeater mode or the range extender mode. Uh, same with uh, if we tap wireless, it's the same story. So we would have to go back to range extender in order to disable it. So right now, it's basically a simple dumb box acting as a range extender. Uh, so for example, you will not see this device appear on my network. Uh, it's just acting as a repeater for my existing wireless access point. Now the other benefit of range extender mode is that you can connect hardline equipment directly to it. So basically, the router then becomes a wireless to LAN adapter. So if you have, let's say, an AV receiver that doesn't have wireless built in but has an Ethernet port and you're not next to an Ethernet connector anywhere in that room, you can basically plug this into the wall, set up range extender mode, and connect the AV receiver to your almond. So this works a lot like the Airport Express range extender mode, both extends the range of your wireless network and gives you the ability to hardline any connections uh, that don't have wireless capabilities.
Now, overall, I'm very impressed with the Almond by Securify. You get plenty of features like guest access, wireless and support, as well, of course, that touchscreen user interface for easy setup across multiple platforms. You don't need to worry about setting up software on your Mac, PC, or somehow finding access on your tablet or phone in order to manage the device. Of course, you also have excellent web administration access, so even though this de-emphasizes the need for that, they actually have included one of the best I've seen in terms of the user interface as well as features. So you you get ease of use, you get a simple, straightforward UI, as well as advanced settings through web administration. So you don't really lose anything in the process of slamming that down for ease of use. Now, the, there are a few things it lacks. It doesn't have gigabit ethernet. Uh, it also lacks dual band support, so uh, so it doesn't have what a lot of other routers have, including the Airport Express. But this is twenty dollars cheaper. Has some other compelling features, such as that touch screen. Uh, so definitely a very attractive product. Something I would highly recommend. So that's going to do for me, guys, in this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again in the next one.